Hi guys! We are on a short getaway in Denmark for a few days. Yeah, so if you were wondering what Denmark looks like, you shall see in this series of our videos. So come along. Welcome to Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. We are at the Little Mermaid statue. As you can see, it is a very popular spot here in Copenhagen. And it's one of the most famous symbols of Copenhagen and of the whole Denmark. But why is the statue actually here? Well, it's a simple story. There was a guy named Karl Jakobsen and he fell in love with the character after watching a ballet here at the Danish Royal Theatre. The ballet was based on the fairy tale of Hans Christian Andersen, The Little Mermaid. So the guy fell in love with the character and he had the statue made. And it's here since 1913. And don't worry, we will have more boring facts throughout the video. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a closer look at it quickly because we don't like being around too many people and this is a very touristy spot. And now we can continue our tour of Copenhagen and hopefully we will see more interesting places. So let's go! The Little Mermaid really is little. <laughs> it's about maybe this big. <laughs> yeah, so not very big. Yeah, you would expect it to be bigger from pictures. Yeah, but the name suggests it's little. So it's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, they're not lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are now on our way to the city center, so we are walking through this fortress. It's mm -hmm. very interesting. Military fortress, yeah. And the houses are so red. <laughs> it's vibrant red, so it's nice. It's quite a big area here in the fortress, so there are interesting things to see. I really like all these horse chestnuts. They are in bloom now and it looks very pretty. And the weather today is very nice, so it's a great time to visit Copenhagen. And it looks like we just got teleported to the Netherlands. <laughs> Look at the pretty windmill. It looks amazing, right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. We are in one of the Copenhagen city parks and they are so beautiful. I love how natural they look. So many big trees and shrubs and water is here as well somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks like... I would like our garden to look like this in the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah. And we made some uh, stop for a short snack here. Mm -hmm. So that's nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better eating here than somewhere in the streets, yeah, for me. Yeah, exactly.
We are now in King's Gardens around the Rosenborg Castle, which you can see behind me. And it was built in the early 1600s as a summer country house or summer residence for the royal family. And it looks so picturesque. It should be in the style of Dutch Renaissance, something like that. Hopefully I read that correctly. And it's a very picturesque era, so that's why it looks so beautiful, like something out of a Disney fairy tale. It's a really pleasant day, so we are resting here and enjoying the weather. Yeah, and people are sunbathing here yeah. and everything, so yeah. it feels like summer, so we should sunbathe too. But sadly, we don't have enough time for that, because we need to see as much as possible, so we will continue to see more places. <laughs> We are walking to another palace and this just appeared out of nowhere, like nothing, a major church. It looks, wow, majestic. <laughs> so it's great that there are all these sites along the way. And as you can see, Copenhagen is very bike friendly. I would say after Amsterdam, it would be the second friendliest city for bikes mm -hmm. and you can see people driving bikes and biking everywhere yeah. it's so cool and great yeah i like it We are now at Amalienborg Palace, which is the royal palace currently. And it's really interesting because I'm basically surrounded by palaces. <laughs> yeah. It's like four identical palaces all around me. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. So, four of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's very even and logical. I like it. Symmetrical. Yeah. That's your thing, right? Exactly. <laughs> So the four palaces are around this octagonal square and the centerpiece of this square, oh my god, I should be here, is this statue of the King Frederick V. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one, this palace, is the best lit <laughs> by the sun. So when you see this, you know how the other three look like. We noticed that there is a flag only on one palace, the one behind me, so maybe the royals are there. And you probably noticed from seeing all the palaces that Denmark is a kingdom. And the current monarch is the Queen Margrethe II. They are clapping. People are clapping. Maybe she's well done, coming. Peter. Maybe she's coming or something, but I don't see her. And she's the daughter of the King Frederick IX of Denmark and Queen Ingrid. And Queen Ingrid was born Princess of Sweden. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Keeping it in Scandinavia. Yes, exactly. I like how empty the place is. It's quite pleasant to be here compared to other royal places. This is very nice. I like it. But we are leaving. So we are going to see something different again. Copenhagen is actually on an island, or specifically on two islands, and it's very close to Sweden. It's connected just through a bridge to the Swedish city of Malmo. So, yeah. Yeah, it is cool. And as you can see, we are at the sea now. It's all different here again and quite modern. 
can see modern buildings. So we like that because we like a change of scenery. Behind me you can see the National Opera House of Denmark and it is actually quite new. The construction was finished in 2004 and what's interesting is that it was one of the most expensive opera houses in the world. At that time it cost 2.5 billion Danish crowns which is approximately 370 million US dollars. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Good for them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. We are now in Nihom, I guess, and it's the most popular place in Copenhagen. And it's a waterfront, a canal and an entertainment district of the city. There are many cafes and bars and it is lined by all these colorful houses. They are from the 17th and early 18th century and it looks so pictures again it's mm -hmm. so pretty yeah very pretty yeah it really looks like uh, Amsterdam in a lot of ways including the water canals and everything yeah it does and it's so touristy here right yeah. there are so many people <laughs> they're definitely very popular here compared yeah. to other places that we've been to mm -hmm. yeah Even though there are a lot of people, I don't mind, kinda, because of the beauty. I like the colors of the houses. We are at the King's New Square, it's very big and very busy and there are a lot of uh, buildings surrounding it. I think this one is a theatre for example, there's a national bank in the background, a library and many others. So there are a lot of things to see here. Mm -hmm. And there is also this mirror yeah. corner, very interesting. it's not a maze. You just walk through and we are here alone. Where am I? Which way? Here? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we are everywhere. We can wave from all sides. We are by the third royal palace and there are no people here. <laughs> it's not very visible because we are so close. Yeah. You can see the tower. We are trying to get like inside, not to see the rooms, but in the courtyard or something. It should be possible. We'll see. Here is the entrance and it looks like we are going to royal gardens again. Different ones. Another yeah. garden. Ugh. Royalty and royal palaces, royal gardens everywhere. I don't have my king entry card, you know, with me, so 
I am not allowed now. Maybe I next forgot time. it. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> Doesn't look like gardens, so I think I was wrong. But there is probably, probably a park or something. This is Christian's Borg Castle or Palace. Mm -hmm. What, Palace or Castle? Palace. Palace. Okay, so Christian's Borg Palace. And it's a royal palace, and stables are supposed to be there as well. But we haven't seen any horses, so. There's one here? <laughs> Okay, so we've seen one here. <laughs> I don't know where the other ones are. <laughs> they are probably resting or something. Copenhagen Central Station, as you can see here, and everywhere around us. <laughs> it's a very nice building, very historic. There is a history feel to it. I'm sure it's very old. And as fans of public transport, we had to stop here and take a look. So the public transport system here in Copenhagen is very good. We already used the metro and city train and let's take a look what the metro looks like. We took the metro from the airport. Guys, we are on the metro and we are piloting the train. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so, nice view. Yeah, so cool. So it's automatic or something and it's cool. <laughs> The entire metro system and the trains are run by a fully automated computer system. The autopilot runs the trains on a predefined schedule, ensures that the trains stop at the station and open the doors. It was quite cool sitting in the front and watching everything. We took metro line M2 from the airport and we are here now. Mm -hmm. And we are going to change to the green city train line B to here. Mm -hmm. And the metro line goes every five minutes and to the train every ten minutes, which is really awesome. You yeah. don't have to worry about timetables. Yeah, so many lines. Here is another train going by. It reminds me of the central station in Prague. It has the same uh, or similar structure uh -huh, uh -huh. the railway. Yeah, yeah, the construction. Yeah, it's interesting. We were actually thinking some time ago of coming here uh, by train from the Czech Republic, but it would mean taking a train from Brno to Prague, then another train from Prague to Berlin, and another one from Berlin to Copenhagen. And the whole trip would take like 15 hours. So it's even cheaper uh, coming here by plane and obviously much faster. Yeah. So we took the easy route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it would be an adventure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sightseeing in Copenhagen was very pleasant. In the end, we walked more than 15 kilometers. We are sure we missed many other interesting places, but days are simply not long enough for us. And we really got lucky with the weather. It's just so nice to stroll through the greenery. In spring, all the parks are alive and there are beautiful flowers everywhere. I think 
we've seen everything of Copenhagen that we wanted to see. We've seen enough. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we are going to end our tour of the city here. We are quite tired and we'll see you in another video. So until then, bye!